And you know, warmer weather means we'll all be cooling off with ice cream. So it seemed like the perfect time for us to put ice cream makers to the test. Shona Jensen put three machines to the test, and now she's going to give us the scoop on how they did, and most importantly, how the ice cream tasted, because this is paramount. So Shones, first tell us which machines you tested. Okay, this is serious business, Tracy. I mean, I think of all the things I've done in all my years on City Line, this is the most important thing we've ever covered is the quality of ice cream that you can make at home. <laughs> um, it was not a chore to do this one, I have to say. I've got one from Breville, I've got one from Cuisinart, and I have one from Ninja. Okay, we are gonna start with the Breville. They're all gorgeous. Tell us how yeah. the Breville works. Okay, so the Breville one is very easy to use. All you do is you make your recipe. I made um, a vanilla ice cream in this one, and you can look up whatever recipe, and the recipes I used actually for all three of these machines came from their instruction books that came with the machines. I wanted to make the easiest ice cream possible, and I wanted to make sure it was a recipe that was um, already tested out on the machines. I didn't kind of get too funky on them. So for this one, all I had to do was mix together the heavy cream, the whole milk, a sweetened condensed milk and a little bit of vanilla. Mix it into a bowl and all I have to do is pour it into the container that's inside the machine here. Put the lid on it and turn the machine on. That is it. It does all the work that you want it to do. It, there's no pre-treating, there's no pre-freezing, there's no pre-anything else. This is a compressor machine. And so this compressor machine means there's a freezer in it. And of course you can make gelatos and sorbets and things like that in this as well. I just chose to make an ice cream in it. That's how it works. And oh my gosh, one thing I, I really like about it is... This isn't Pioneer Village. Mm -hmm. I want the machine to do all the work for me. This is like beautiful. So all of the work was right? done. Do you want to try a little taste and tell us how it tastes? Okay. Like I said, I did a vanilla. And what I did was after I made the ice cream, I put them into my own bowls. And so mm -hmm. I'm going to take a scoop. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I had a taste when I made it and I already knew it was fabulous. Um, and it got 10 out of 10 actually from Greg. <laughs> he was excited about it too, my hubby. From start to finish takes 35 minutes to make the ice cream. I think that's really fast, not including the time it takes you to mix the creams and the sugars and stuff together. I like how fast it was. I like that you don't have to plan ahead because it does it all and on the fly you can decide, hmm, I'm craving fresh vanilla ice cream and you go, can go ahead and do it. And it has lots of customized options in, their, um, in the machine itself. How heavy of a, how frozen of an ice cream, do you want it like a soft serve, do you want it like a, you know, a firm ice cream, things like that. Now one thing I'll say about all these machines, the Breville included, when it's done making the ice cream, it kind of has the consistency of a really firm, soft serve ice cream, which is amazing. But if you're someone who likes that really hard ice cream to get that perfect ball in your dish or you want to present it on a dessert or something, you just put it into a, another bowl and you pop them into the freezer just for a short amount of time and it'll just firm it up a little bit more. The things that I was a little bit, or things I didn't like, there's not a lot, and I'm gonna be super nitpicky here. I'm gonna say the one possible negative thing about this machine for some people is it's quite heavy. Because it, it has like a, um, the freezer, it's a compressor that's in it, it's heavy. So if you live in a small space or want to store the ice cream maker in like a cupboard at the top or a top shelf, might not be the one for you because it's heavy enough that you could get into trouble maybe taking it down. But that's being very nitpicky. It's just something I want people to know when they're, um, when they're looking for their ice cream maker that that's one thing about this. And then the other thing is I would say this is the most expensive of all the machines at $499. I appreciate those tidbits, especially the, you know, having to lift it up to a high place. I think it's good for us to know that. So thank you for that. You're so thorough. Let's move on to the Cuisinart, shall we? Tell us how this one works. Okay, so this is the Cuisinart Gelateria, I think is how I pronounce that. And so um, this one is a mid-price. It's $219. And the way this one works is... As I referenced the Breville, you don't have to do any advance planning. For this one, you have to pre-freeze the container that's in the inside. So this tub has to go in your freezer for at least 24 hours. For this one, I made a chocolate ice cream. And so I made that with cocoa powder, sugar, brown sugar, salt, whole milk, and 
heavy cream with just a little bit of vanilla as well. You just turn it on, you pour it in it, you put the spinner on, and away you go. It only took 25 minutes for this machine to make the ice cream once I poured the mix into it. So I really like the amount of time that one took as well. It's a little shorter than the Breville, but that's because this is already pre-frozen in your freezer. Yeah, makes sense. Do you want to try it? Have a mm. taste. Tell that's us what it do. tastes like. <laughs> Chocolate, Tracy. How can I do ice cream and not make a chocolate? I, oh, I have to take not too big of a scoop. So there we go. Totally living vicariously oh. through you right now. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. I wish you were here, Tracy. That's good. Actually, then I'd share. So do I. But I kind of don't want it because it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's delicious. It's super creamy. The, everything mixed, mixed together really, really well. Um, this really was a good machine. What I liked the most about it was it's, you know, like I said, fairly fa fast as long as you do that planning ahead. It also makes the most ice cream of them all. If you look, this is how much the Breville made and this is how much the Cuisinart makes. So if you're a family or you like to entertain larger crowds, this would be the one for you. Anything you, else you want to okay. tell us about the Cuisinart? The only thing I didn't love, I suppose, again, being nitpicky is you have to plan ahead and freeze that the, the bin ahead of time. And it's a lot of real estate in your um, freezer. So you have to either plan ahead to put it in or always keep it in there. Okay, fair enough. Shall we get to the Ninja mm -hmm. Cremi? Okay, Ninja Cremi, really quick. $249, so um, it's uh, mid-priced. It only takes two minutes, but here's the deal with the Cremi, is you have to mix the ingredients ahead of time. These are their pint containers. You fill the pine containers with whatever your mixture is, ice cream, this is fruit, I'll tell you that in a second, and then you have to freeze these ahead of time. You have to freeze the ingredients. So again, there's that pre-prep. And one thing that I love about this that I found the most unique is you can make sorbet with canned or fresh fruit. I love the convenience and the healthiness of making it with the fresh fruit. But of course you can make ice cream as well. And so I just made some in here and it's a peppermint ice cream and this is what it looks like when it comes out so this was the cream oh mm. look at that oh that's a good texture see i'm gonna try it mm -hmm. mm. oh that's delicious i was wondering if this one would be as creamy as the other ones because it works with a knife it totally is anyway when you want it you just pop that out put that pint in your freezer or just snicky snack on that all you'd like and you're good to go with ice cream or a sorbet, love that. Do you want to give us your overall summation, like which one you would prefer and why, or why you like all of them, or if there are any of them that you're like, no, I wouldn't go with it, with this one? Yep, this is a rare occasion where I find all three of them are a slam dunk. They all worked amazing. They all work the way they should. They put out really great products. So the way I'm gonna break this one down is, if you're someone who doesn't plan ahead and you don't wanna do anything in advance, then the Breville is totally for you because you can be that spur of the moment person. If you're a big family or a major ice cream fan or are doing a lot of entertaining, then the Cuisinart I think is the best one for you. And if you're someone who wants to make small batches and lots of a few different kinds of batches, you have different dietary needs in your house, someone's a dairy-free, someone's a vegan, someone's whatever, then I think the Ninja is amazing because you can make everyone a personal size one within a couple of minutes of each other. That was so good. I mean, thank you for doing all that hard work for us, Shona. <laughs> <laughs> you did a great job. Yeah, well, if anyone watching wants to get their hands on an ice cream maker for sweet treats all summer long, just scan the QR code on your screen to shop our CityLine approved favorites. You can also find links to them on our website.